Hi, my name is Therese Brule, and these are my co-authors. We worked together on a model called Skills to Care, which is a learning program for community health workers in South Africa. We worked in 10 clinics in the Nyeleni sub-district of our Tambo district with 63 community health workers. We were aiming to show that it is possible to to train and improve cognitive knowledge of community health workers in resource limited settings such as the Eastern Cape. As you know, community health workers provide the foundation for comprehensive primary health care uh, in South Africa, and they hold huge potential for universal health coverage and for equitable access to safe primary health care services. Um, we need 55,000 community health workers. So the question is how can we adequately train them within, especially within resource limited settings. So Skills to Care is a learning program that has been um, compiled together with um, Small Projects Foundation and Better Care. Small Projects Foundation supports community health workers in the Eastern Cape and Better Care provides learning material for healthcare workers and more recently has developed modules specifically for community health workers. So this program is decentralized to the clinics. Traditionally, um, Training is carried out at central venues. Usually they're residential, especially if people are coming from rural areas. And what we wanted to prove was that it's possible to do training at the clinics in a modular format. So that's what we would, what this program, Skills to Care, aimed to do. There you are. Decent. This program was decentralized to the clinics. So what we did, we collected both qualitative and quantitative data. We did a knowledge assessment with a pre and post test study using multiple choice questions. And then the difference in score provided an indication of knowledge gain. And thus we did our quantitative study and then focus group discussions and interviews supported the qualitative um, methodology. So what were our findings? In terms of quantitative knowledge, you can see the scores on the left of this um, central line um, are those for the pretest, whilst scores on the right in blue are the scores for the post-test. And as you can see, the bulge increases dramatically on the right hand side. Um, if you want to see the scores in more detail, you can see that scores improve throughout with each of the modules. But as you can see, care of the newborn, the scores increased more, most dramatically. So the statistical analysis, um, Chi-squared tests were used to determine whether the pass rate improved pre to post test. The p-value of 0 0.180 was used. Um, as you can see over in this table, um, the total improvement is significant and it's a large improvement um, with a d-value of 1,07. Individually, all but one of the tests proved um, significant on the T tests. Care of the mother, however, was not significant. However, when we used the chi-square result for this, the variable was significant. Um, results indicated that community health workers had good prior knowledge of maternal care because they'd actually been trained in it previously, but then they'd also been in, trained in HIV and exclusive breastfeeding. Um, however, despite this, their, their um, cognitive knowledge 
even so improved. Overall tests indicated a significant 13% improvement. Um, so what we were able to conclude was that this method of peer group cooperative learning can significantly increase the cognitive knowledge of community health workers. In terms of qualitative findings, the value of learning was um, one of the things that community health workers particularly picked up on. It improved their, with improved knowledge, they felt more competent, more confident, and it provided them with um, more motivation to achieve, more, to achieve more and to go further. So the value of the skills to care method, the process of learning and the learning material, they determined to be accessible. Um, limitations of the study, well, it was a small sample and we only used one set of modules. These have subsequently been increased, so there are now five more modules. Um, what are the implications of the findings? Well, skills to care provides a model for training um, community health workers. This is specific to cognitive knowledge, and it helps to keep the community health workers relevant and abreast with developments in healthcare. It's conducted on site and at the clinic, so it requires limited, relatively limited resources. We found that having a facilitator who may well be a professional nurse at the clinic and um, supported, help to support the learning, the peer collaboration and the skills to care man manual were the things that were required with this, with this method of, um, of learning. Um, our conclusion is that yes, community health workers are integral to health care health systems, especially in low and middle income countries and rural areas such as ours, as we have in ours. Um, their ongoing training needs to be appropriate, affordable and prioritized if they are to be properly recognized by the healthcare system. Um, and this study showed that on-site cooperative skills to care learning with the support of a facilitator improved levels of knowledge and was well received by the community health worker. So whilst it's a small study, it certainly holds potential for scaling up and maybe even to 55,000. So for more information, you can use this website, Better Care. And thanks to all who participated. So from the heart of the Eastern Cape, thank you.